Today I'm going to take you through the top 10 tools that I use in my location scouting kit. The Stanley 25 foot Fat Max. Now why is a cinematographer bringing a tape measure to the scout? Well, because a lot of times I need to find out if I can fit my techno crane through the doors. This Fat Max is able to come way out. Look at this, it's so nice. I can come almost all the way to 10 feet with this baby. I'm able to measure windows, give some intel with the production designer, all this kind of stuff. This thing has saved my butt so many times. Insta360, this device is my location scouting package. Comes in a nice little case here. Insta360 is the way I scout all my locations now. Turn it on, it immediately connects to my phone and I'm able to look at it and it completely paints the pole out. So I'm able to scout the whole location. I, I go in every corner, I go through the location. So I'm going all the way around like this. I'm going through every corner, looking at all the doors, everything. Because now I can use this when I am doing my blocking schematics and lighting schematics, I'm able to build my plot off of the room. I'm also able to see the ceiling so I can decide whether I have some can lights that I don't want. I can look at the floor, see if the floor is kind of, you know, uneven. Can I roll a dolly on it? Can I see what the parameters are with that? So this thing is absolutely essential. Do not forget your battery caddy for the Insta360 ONE X. This is essential. These batteries go very quickly. So I have at least six of them on the ready, especially if I'm scouting 10 to 12 locations a day and sticking all them all over the place. And just so you know, when I'm doing a location scout with this camera, I'm doing everything that the key grip and the gaffer and the location department and the transportation department needs to know where base camp is, where the generator is going to be, where the cable run is going to be. So I'm sticking all those locations so I can download that to my whole team and keep them in the loop. Canon 1DC DSLR. Now why this? Well, this is an incredible still camera as well as a great 4K capture video camera. I use this for all of my color work. If I need to sell somebody a color and a tone and a desaturation, whatever it is with the director, I'll take some shots of the room and I'll go in to Photoshop, color grade them, and that helps the whole process of, of prep and kind of refining your look of, of your movie or commercial or whatever you're going into. The other thing is light meters, okay? Now, everyone says these are dead and that you use them for uh, paperweights. Well, that's not how it works in my world. So many times I go into location and I want to captivate that natural light that's in the space. And I want to know if there's enough light in there to be able to expose that. Sometimes I really love the quality of light and the specific time that that quality of light is in the room. So my light meter's always with me to measure that. The next thing is my color temperature meter. This is the Sakana Spectrum Master C800U. And this is absolutely essential for location scouting. So many times you want to know what the fluorescents are and the ceiling, what they're reading in parking lots. Is it metal halide? Is it high pressure sodium? Is it some LED light that you've never really seen before? You can captivate that on location and I plug it into my little book or, or put it into my phone on the notes so I know exactly what I'm going to have to create in an XY scenario because what this meter does that the C700 does not do is it has the XY function and the XY enables you to match sources. Oh, Shane, why would you need binoculars? Well, binoculars, I have been on scouts where all of a sudden would say, oh, what it would be great to put a camera up there. Well, instead of walking all the way up there and seeing how treacherous it would be and that you're not able to do it, you can go in on these binoculars and actually see if it's actually possible. The Jexing laser pointer. 
this thing is absolutely essential. When you're scouting, a lot of times you're like, okay, with the production designer, yeah, let's do something here. Or with my gaffer, let's, let's hang something over here or let's move some light over here. It's, you know, when you're saying, yeah, it's right up there and no, 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 not there, over here. With the laser pointer, you can immediately cut to the chase and tell your team exactly where you want the light or the curtain or some banner, whatever it is, hung. My DeWalt mat knife, okay? You are constantly gonna be cutting things. You're gonna get packages uh, sent to you. So this thing is very unique because it goes and expands to a full mat knife. So you can keep it in your pocket and uh, it just folds right up there and goes right in really nice. The MacBook Pro 14 inch. Very lightweight, very compact, but has all the peripherals needed. And this is my on the go beast in the car, scouting, making camera lists, making lighting lists, any adjustments, I'm able to do that right immediately, send it to production, keep everyone in the loop as quick as possible. My Duracell 800 watt or 400 watt power converter. You're on location, you're location scouting, uh, all of a sudden production calls, they want lists done. You gotta have your computer on the ready and that computer is something you gotta be able to pull up and hey, all of a sudden your battery dies. This you can plug right into the minivan that you're going in and supply tons of power. And this thing has saved my butt in the past as well. I can power a sky panel S30 off of this thing and I've also done a lot of little light mats and uh, small lights that, that require some power uh, in the car. So these are, uh, I put this right in my, my kit. Now you say, oh my God, Shane, how do you carry all this stuff? Well, you carry it all in this bag. The Sackler rollaway bag is unbelievable. And the reason why it's so powerful is it has wheels, but it can also zip into a backpack. So this enables you to carry two of these things on a plane because one of them can be a backpack, like your purse, okay? So you come in with this and then the other one is a roller. And last but not least, you always want to have this baby tagged. I even had it personalized, LSH. If you didn't know, my first name is Luther. So this little uh, tag enables me to find it on set. On safety, I did a whole day of shooting, like 40 some setups that we were running around the whole campus. And I turned to my camera team and I go, hey, has anyone seen my bag? And they're like, the last time I saw it was at our first location. I went sprinting back all the way through campus and sure enough, there it was, luckily. But now with the tag, I can track that baby. And that's my top 10 tools in my location scouting kit.